seeing the score and it, it looks very demanding. This is a music which has been forgotten for almost exactly a hundred years. It, it just feels right to play it. To find something quite as exciting this I think is is pretty unusual. feel some kind of personal connection and I, I think this is what I was searching actually for, for something that uh, would be me and I would be feeling part of this music. I came across uh, Wackhalter, uh, Wackhalter's name and uh, his music and I was lucky enough to, to get in touch with his grandson and, and he forwarded me the music. Ignaz Waghalter was a very influential figure in European music making during his lifetime and was very important in making uh, early performances of the music of Puccini as well as writing some operas that were celebrated at the time and, and this wonderful music for violin and orchestra and violin and piano that we've recorded for this CD. I've worked with Amina quite a lot now over the last few years um, and when we first worked together um, we felt there was a really incredible connection. Rarely you can feel, you know, um, at home. And Alex definitely gives all the possible freedom and um, all, all his, you know, amazing talent and, and um, the abilities to, to connect uh, me with the orchestra and, uh, and connect to the audience are, are just... Uh, really amazing. I think she brings something very particular or even essential to this music um, and I feel that Amina very much has an individuality about her playing and a style which is very reminiscent of the great violinists of the early part of the 20th century. Well we felt it was essential to assemble the, uh, the best possible team and Ermina has worked with Georgi Latsabidza before. Um, they met uh, in Salzburg when Emina was studying there. Um, and he now lives in Los Angeles. Uh, he's a wonderful chamber music collaborator. He's really amazing virtuoso. It's, it's really amazing. It's, it's A sonata with him is like a double, a double concerto basically for violin and piano, which, uh, which brings everything out. I want to give more because I hear how he plays. It's definitely a, a wonderful team, and the same with Royal Philharmonic, I mean, a dream, dream come true. It's a wonderful privilege to work with an orchestra of this level. They have, as well as an incredible string sound, um, they have wonderful, wonderful uh, chamber musicians in the wind group, um, and this works beautifully for the music of Waghalter. It's good from time to time to play something new something that you haven't played or nobody ever played. And it, it feels very, it feels like you don't know where you're going. This is the whole excitement about it. And I, I really believe that this music, which, uh, which basically we found, is, uh, is something which should be in the major repertoire. Because it's as important as, as the other concertos. It makes you want to play it, it makes you want to listen to it. I feel very much that uh, the music of Waghalter deserves a central place in the repertoire and we are very much excited about the possibility of performing this music. The music uh, requires much more than just a CD, you know, than just, just to come out. 
all other people should know about it. And it, it should be widely known, basically. It should be widely known and performed. We wanted to make this project uh, of the highest possible level, but I think the essence and the thing that really turned this into something special was the discovery of the music of Waghalter and the discovery that it was something which really must be brought back to life. Thank you.